Well, hello, YouTube. Here uh, in the mail the other day, I got a package from Larry at Back to the Future Radios. He sent me a few things. There's a. Let me see if I can bring this in a little bit. There's some. A bunch of resistors, a whole card full of them there. I think they're all the, the same value. I haven't looked up the value to see what it is yet. But, like I say, there, there's a whole bunch of them there. Then behind them over here, there's a whole bunch of terminal strips. And those back behind the resistors there look like strips to add uh, antenna leads or... Um, speaker wire I know on the back of that um, Fisher stereo that I had the, the um, antenna leads and, and the speaker leads take those kind of screws and then it looks like over here there's a bunch of chassis mount uh, nuts back there and then down here it looks like a bunch of quarter inch jacks at least i think that's what they are but he just up out of the blue and sent me all those things and larry i, I really appreciate it I, I thank you much that they, they, they'll come in handy somewhere along the line i'm sure now i have picked up a few more things as well i picked up some uh, twist, a bag of twist ties there. Let me back that out some. Picked up a bag of twist ties and a box of a 180 rubber grommets. I had a box of grommets before, but I don't know, don't remember what I done with them. I think they fell back behind the one of the chest of drawers back in the bedroom there is one I'm thinking of <laughs> it'd be a long damn time before they get pulled back out and I got a little a little pair of not quite tweezer nose pliers but they're awful long and they're awful thin and I got them for a little over a dollar at Harbor Freight uh, another old brown bug Drop him down lower. No more brown bugs. Got a cheap set of drill bits at Harbor Freight. And hopefully they'll last for at least one or two holes. <laughs> now from on my on the uh, box that I'm building for the, the voltmeter and the amp meter and the electrical outlet. I just picked this up down at Hobby Lobby and I can take all this gaudy little handle and stuff off or just turn it around backwards and set it up like that or whatever. But I believe it's got more than enough room to hold them meters in it. I just have to Kind of place out in the top for the meters and the, the outlet. We'll have a box for them then. Cut a hole in the side or the back or whatever for the wires to come out to go to the isolation transformer in the very act. <laughs> All right, well, I got the other capacitor in. Of course I left it inside the house <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the house and get that and then I'll go ahead and start wiring up uh, soldering those those in and I'll probably mount them to a terminal strip if I can if, I, if not I may just put a twist tie around them and mount them to the chassis that way um, 
the new one that I got in is still pretty big. It's not might near as big as that uh, double 33 one. But I think it'll work. We'll see here in a little bit. All right, right now, for now, this is Gary signing off.